Hello my fellow combatants, Space Manager here, back at you with another video. So on today's topic of MK1 or M1K, I personally call this game Rubbish Rubbish 1. So I want to talk about is the community. And I'm going to talk about the casual side of the community and as well as the high level pro side of the community. Now, before I get to talking about both of those, right? The first thing I want to talk about in particular has to deal with when the community first started, right? Now we can say that the modern community started in M during MK9, right? Cause that's when Mortal Kombat was really starting to be taken serious. It made his first appearance at EVO, if I'm not mistaken, right? So, Mortal Kombat was really took it serious during that time period. Now, before that, I'm pretty sure there were tournaments, local tournaments, you know, things like that. But it wasn't. I'm not. I don't believe Mortal Kombat was at any big major tournament, right? So, MK9 was the start of that, right? We had 16 bit and uh, Tom Brady, Rio, right? And Perfect Legend, in my opinion, was the best player at the time. He won Evo, you know back to back you know he won in 2011 and then 2012 so he repeated right if you about it you will repeat you're serious so and he was the best player so with that said mkx all the way up until now our best player has been sonic fox now sonic fox has gotten toxic the guy is toxic just flat out okay um i'm not personally trying to bash the guy i don't know the guy personally never played against him he's obviously significantly better than me you know what i'm saying i'm not i can't hold a candle to this man like he would just just like push a button and i die you know so I, i'm not trying to talk about his skill right he got it but his personality right He's just loud, belligerent, obnoxious, just, and he's part of a very toxic community too, right? The, the alphabet community. I, I don't know all of the, the letters, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to misconstrue anything or mess anything up. I know how sensitive some people can be, but yeah, he's, he's a part of that. And I'm not saying that he, he really puts any of that into his video game career, which he doesn't. But outside of that, the guy is just, just naturally just toxic, man. He's tea, always teabagging somebody, always taunting, gloating, I'm the best and all of this. And it, it, even look at his Twitter, right? And our example, I'm sorry, we need a better example. So now that makes the casual community toxic because naturally as human beings when we see somebody at the top we want to mimic that because we want to be there we want to work our asses off to get there so we mimic that and that's exactly what the casual community does mimic that loud toxic belligerent just i could whoop your ass you're trash and, and all of this now it's it was okay. trash talk is okay i'm not talking about trash talk right you know what I'm saying? Good old fashioned Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, trash talk. I ain't talking about that. That was, man, I miss it. I truly do. I truly, truly do, man. You had to really be a part of that. You Gen Z's, you missed out on something amazing, dude. That, <sighs> the world is too sensitive for that type of stuff. So anyways, uh, but now it's like, I don't care. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm better than you. It's like, bro, you're not. You're garbage, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that because of how our top player is. Now, I want to talk about the second person, which is Ninja Killer. Now, he's not loud, belligerent, obnoxious. He's not none of that, right? He's just cool, calm, collected. You know what I'm saying? It seems like, you know, I, I'll probably, you know, chill with the dude. You know what I'm saying? I smoke a blunt with him. I know he don't smoke or whatever, you know. I smoke a wood, smoke a blunt with him, whatever he is. You know what I'm saying? He would seem like a nice, chill guy to, to you know, just, just chill around, right? 
but how he's toxic is his optimization of the gameplay. Like, he has to play the best at all times. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I can't fault him for that. And I don't fault him for that. Because you can't turn the switch off. Once it's turned on, that's it. You know, that's like LeBron James not being the best player. That's like Michael Jordan not being the best player. They can't turn it off. Once it's on, it's on. You can't turn that off. But because of that, for some reason, our community, the MK community sees that and it's like, oh, well, in order for me to, to play this game, that's how I got to be. And it's not. There's so many other ways to play this game. And we only see two types of personalities in this game. We see the Ninja Killers and the Sonic Foxes. The community itself is just... It's, it's, it's crazy. Okay? There's no personality to this community besides, you know, I have to just play, I gotta, I'm, I'm the best, I'm the best, and I'm, I'll, oh, you can't beat me. And, you know, a full optimization, I, I gotta play the best, I gotta, you know, optimize and, and play right all the time. You know, and... The community has just gotten toxic, completely, completely toxic because of this. And it sucks because when you look at Street Fighter, right? I'm sorry for the little bit. I got to just talking and forgot Luke Kane was going to eventually come on. But um, uh, if you look at Street Fighters, right? Their top players, Brian F., I, Dom, uh, let's, say, let's say the best player, right? Or the most well known legendary player. Diago, even though he might not always top at a tournament, when he speaks, the entire community is silence. It is silence when he speaks and the community listens. They're not toxic over there. I mean, like, yeah, they probably have some toxicity, right? Because nobody's, you know, exempt from it. But it's, it's, it's a fun toxic. And it's, it's a... It's a real Nick community family over there. Cause I was a part of it when Street Fighter 4 came out. You know, I just moved when MK um, 2011 came out. Yeah, I was like, it's time for me to jump. It's time for me to come home. That's exactly what I said. It's time for me to come home. Cause there wasn't an MK game for the longest, but Street Fighter 4, that, that series held me over. And, and now I came out and I came home and Home has gotten toxic. It has gotten so, so toxic, man. And I don't understand. I, I do understand why, but I don't understand why. Why we have let it gotten this far, right? Why? At least, I, I would say, we need at least one better role model the other guy is fine but we need we need somebody else to that we can look up to this community you know and it's we, we don't have that the community doesn't have no positive figures to look up to no positive you know like i said besides ninja killer but they're, they're both you know these guys are both young and i i you can't fault them but yet again you can't fault them right so uh, it's kind of it's kind of like almost a gray area if you want to say but it's the community is hurting because of this right and you have and now with mk1 the community is definitely split into two because of how this game is and i have never seen a community mk community like this it pains my heart it pains my soul to see us so divided like this, to see us, you know, oh, this game sucks, or, or you know, no, no, this game is this, or, you know, it's, it pains my heart. Now I'm going to get more into, you know, the characters and, and the wokeness and stuff of the game or whatnot and unnecessary changes, but it, it, it truly pains me to see MK like this. And when MK is like, is bad, when MK is trash, the community is trash. It is. The games, the community is, the, when the game is trash, the community is going to follow suit. 
Look at us. The community has fallen apart because the game itself has fallen apart. It was released in pieces. I am truly hurt. Because I was born with this. Me and MK was born in the same year. This is my heart and soul. This is my passion. Without MK, I am lost. I would have no other game to play. I wouldn't play the game. This is my game. And I am so hurt. I don't know what else to say besides I am hurt. Truly. Every day I think about this and I see it and it's like, oh my goodness. But the only thing that's going to make things better, like I said before, is time. And time takes too much time. And unfortunately, none of us have that much time. I honestly believe that this could really hurt MK's image. No MK has been released like this. MK11 was like this. MKX wasn't like this. 9 was not like this. DC versus DC wasn't like this. Armageddon, Deception, Deadly Alliance, 4, Trilogy, Ultimate, 3, I forgot gold, two and then one. None of those games released in the state the way this game has been released. And I have been here for every single release. I still have the game on Super Nintendo. I still have Sub-Zero mythologies. I still have my strategy guides for four, Deadly Alliance and Deception and MK9. Because in MK9, the uh, the strategy guide was released with the uh, moves was was incorrect. <sighs> I am truly hurt. It's it's it. I'm almost like damn, bro. I'm 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 sad. I'm, I'm sad to be a part of this community, because of, because of how the game is and how the community is. The community we should not be so divided. If anything, we should stick together and we should be adamant on how this game has been. We shouldn't play this game to show in our rest that you guys should release a better product. Be better. We have to sit here and wait for crossplay for two months or three months for characters. These cameos are not even released alongside the characters. They're dripping us this content to make a seem that they're going to support this game for a long time and a long time to come. When we all know that the support for this game is going to end in a year and a half, and then they're going to stop patching the game after two and a half years. Everybody be real with yourself. Stop lying to yourself. The community will be better for this. We need to stick together and come together as brothers and sisters. Yes, my sisters that play MK. Yes, my brothers that play MK. We should stick together, come together. I truly wish MK the best and I truly wish our community the best. So with all of that said, comment on this video like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can get notified for the next time when i do upload another video and most importantly to the community the mortal kombat community peace